Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. back here with Clever News. And Ashley Tisdale just opened up about the time that she got a nose job to correct a health problem and the dark time in her life and traumatic criticism that followed. Let's break it down. So Ashley Tisdale's first major breakout roles on Disney Channel were on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and the high school musical movies in the early 2000s. She'd been on our TV screens since she was just a kid, and she just revealed that when she made the decision to get a nose job, she felt scrutinized, judged, and ashamed over her decision. Back in 2007, Ashley told People Magazine that she got a rhinoplasty to correct the deviated septum, which caused trouble breathing. At the time, she told the outlet that, quote, the older I got, the worse it got. I went to get it checked out, and the doctor told me that the septum was 80% deviated and that I had two small fractures on my nose. And in a new post on her website, Frenchie, Ashley explained that, quote, it didn't feel like that big of a deal to me because the decision was based on serious health issues I was having. In her post, Ashley said she decided to write about this experience because it was recently brought up in an interview again, and the question still triggers her and makes her feel emotional to this day. She made it clear that her nose job was not about changing her appearance, but rather a decision she made based on her doctor's recommendation. Not that it matters either way. But it wasn't until after she went public with her decision that Ashley realized how much she'd be shamed for getting plastic surgery. In her post, she wrote, quote, plastic surgery wasn't culturally accepted then like it is now. When I got it done, I was scrutinized, judged, and made to feel ashamed over my decision. I made a decision that was no one's business and is still no one's business. And for that decision, I was constantly made to feel bad about it. And while Ashley wanted to be honest with her fans about why she chose to get surgery, she felt like she couldn't because of the criticism. She also noted that she was obligated to make a public appearance at Jingle Ball two weeks into her recovery. And so why was it so important for Ashley to address this all now? Well, aside from being asked about her procedure in an interview, she wants to make sure her daughter grows up in a world without criticism for whatever decisions that she makes. Ashley, who is pregnant with her first child, said, quote, at the end of the day, I'm having a daughter, and I hope her choices aren't met with judgment or shame. It's taken years for me to process this experience, an experience that I didn't think was that big of a deal either. And Ashley added that she's using this moment to try to let go of that criticism for good. She said, quote, I'm choosing to look at this interview, which was a bummer, as a positive. It brought up a very dark time in my life. Things like having paparazzi break into my home to get the first shot and feeling like I let people down were the first things that came to mind, but I'm choosing to see this as a push to face it, write it down, and finally let go. And this isn't the first time that Ashley has opened up about a plastic surgery experience. Over this past summer, she wrote about having her breast implants removed after she began struggling with health issues like food sensitivities and gut issues that she believes could have been caused by her implants. In a lengthy Instagram post, Ashley explained that she initially got implants because she quote, constantly felt my body was less than and thought this change would make me feel more whole and more secure about myself. But now years later, she got her implants removed and wrote, this picture above was taken two months after my explant surgery, and I think you can tell just how happy I am to finally be fully me. And we're just glad that Ashley now feels comfortable enough to share these experiences with fans. Getting surgery and prioritizing your health are major decisions for anyone, especially someone in the public eye. So we're happy that Ashley is able to share what she went through, and hopefully the world is more accepting and less judgmental in the future. But for more on Ashley Tisdale, you can click right over here for another Clever News video, and then let us know what you think about what Ashley had to say down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, y'all.